Hello, it is Burgess Taylor and welcome to 2017's first coffee chat. I'm going to give you a few minutes to grab your cup of coffee or your cup of tea or maybe your glass of wine. <laughs> I'm going to do a video soon wrapping up 2016. I'm not going to go into a whole lot of that. We covered a lot of that during 2016. But I am going to do a what I'm doing in 2017 video. Sort of a planner, journal, projects. Because there's a lot of stuff that I'm going to be doing during the year of 2017. I'm going to split it up into quarters. This first quarter, I am redoing the artist way. I started that yesterday. I read the introduction. I have my morning pages journal. It's just a composition book with some scrapbook paper over it. Nothing fancy. This afternoon, I will be reading chapter one. And I will be doing a blog post um, later today about... The Arts Way and some of the other projects that I'm doing. I'm continuing with the Dark Tower reading project and the Connected book. So we're still doing that. I am, <laughs> unfortunately, I still have about a tenth of the book left to read for the stand. Um, I'm still, yeah, I've got just a little bit left. That's a really big book. Um, and we were really busy over the weekend. Um, as you can see, I am in a new room. Uh, my son moved and I came back to what was originally supposed to be my writing room. Unfortunately, there's not very much purple in here. I do have a touch here or there. So I'm going to insert right now a quick walkthrough of my room, how it's set up. I were walking into my room. This is the view I would see. So we're gonna start right here since I have the new room. That's the tripod that usually goes on the dining room table. The Stanley lunchbox has pens and stuff in it for journaling. Um, we redid the dresser, took the mirror off, and added a bit of red to it. My typewriters, my Snoopy stuff. A corner bookcase. A basket with some things in it that I need to go through. Speakers I need to give my mom. My red bookcase. The shelves Mr. Rockstar moved into this room. We've got to get another bracket for each one to put the middle so they don't bow. My reading chair. My little table with the stuff on it I need to go through. I need to find a place for the little broom. My paints fell. So I've got to put them back. It's a little... Nightstand, I've got some books in there, um, my tarot cards, the router, my printer, little shelf that we painted Mr. Rockstar put up so I could put my pens and my ink and stuff in a picture of our wedding. Let me um, move the chair so I can get back here so you can see properly. Um, the tower, that's our wedding picture and as you can see my daughter is holding Mr. Victor when he was a little baby. We have a story to tell. Like I said, my pens and inks. My desk. And this is pretty clean. We're still moving some stuff. So that says, but first coffee. And then here is a, a scarf that I hung. Um, so that I have some purple in here. Because there's not a whole lot of purple. And it has the turquoise. It has some red in it. You can see the bits of red. Isn't that gorgeous? And underneath there, you'll see words on that curtain. I wrote the words to the song I'll Be by Edwin McCain. Miss Rockstar learned to sing and play that song on the guitar and played it for me at our wedding reception. Hobonichi's and my morning pages journal. My bag that Miss Rockstar gave me for my pens, my plant, my purple lamp. I do have a little tiny bit of purple. Um, my makeshift light that has wax paper over it so, so yeah I repainted my desk um, and you can see the red so my cup of coffee we painted that bookshelf 
and I'm not finished with things so that's my old iBook G4 I really wish I had a new Mac and by the way my desktop actually I went back and looked my desktop will be um, nine years old in March or April it's not quite a, it's a year younger than I thought so I redid took everything out of the closet smoothed the tripod I put the Rubbermaid shelf in there I'm going to be using the red desk to film that's my contraption to film flip throughs those are two comforter bags that I need to um, go through that have crap paper and stuff in them those are old notebooks and stuff up there my dream catcher some of my son's books that he didn't have a chance to move so my art stuff is in here and drawing books and a few other books some spiritual books astrology books that kind of thing my storyboards for writing and then you get to the white bookcase so the white bookcase has the Stephen King books in it and that says but first coffee that's um, one of our wedding pictures just a few my daughter's graduation picture from college my Snoopy trash can um, a fan and a heater and then we're back over here I have a bubble gum machine that's gonna go right there I'm gonna put some of them so I'm gonna fill it with marbles because it 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 actually does work but I'm not gonna put bubble gum in it I'm gonna put marbles in it for and that that's the tour I have my angel with the broken wings up there me and mr. rockstar in Gatlinburg Tennessee right there my coffee clock the mirror and my little my Grinch my Snoopy stuff my little purple crystal ball the girl reading my typewriter from when I was a kid and the typewriter that Mr. Rockstar got me and our Lion King carpet that's as my daughter calls it. This is the new writing room. If you hear a noise in the background that's the heater. It's right down there. You can kind of see it in the corner. It's a little mini heater. It is very rainy, gray, cold out right now. Well for here I'm sure some of you up north have snow and stuff. We don't have snow, but it is yet yeah, chilly. And unfortunately, I had to go out in the rain this morning to go get my grandson. He's in the living room with Mr. Rockstar watching Bob the Builder. This afternoon, I will be getting a lot more done once my daughter picks up Mr. Victor. After she gets off work, she had to work today, and the daycares are closed. So I'm really excited, really happy to be in my new room. We still have a lot to a lot of work to do in the purple room. It's going to be the guest room, so. When Mr. Victor or my stepdaughter Kayla, when they come over and they spend the night, they have a place to sleep. Mr. Rockstar did a lot of work in here. So did I. We got a lot done. I had to repaint two walls. He took the shelves out of the other room that were on the wall and put them in here. We painted a bookshelf. Like I said in the video, we did a lot of work. We got it done over the weekend. And I'm still kind of organizing. There's still like a basket down there in front of that corner shelf. I need to go through there's still some stuff around that I need to sort out there's still like I said a lot of stuff in the purple room because we're setting up the bed and stuff in there while Mr. Rockstar's on vacation we're also going to clean out declutter organize and clean the shed in the backyard as well as some of the stuff that's up in the attic we are seriously decluttering and reorganizing and cleaning and we're very motivated this decided to bring the new year in with a new redoing and organizing and decluttering it makes you feel good there are also a lot of other things that we're doing and changing some positive things one of my big goals again this year like last year is to be healthier i want to get fit i mean it's not so much about losing weight as it is being comfortable with yourself and i'm not comfortable with myself um not with my weight I still need to lose I lost 15 pounds last year so I need to lose oh yeah at least another 30 or 40 pounds but I'm working on it making changes sometimes you do have to do that gradually we're gonna work on it together little steps we're gonna be getting mr. rockstar bicycle I have one and we're going to start bicycling 
I'm going to be walking. I'm going to be doing artist date once a week. And during those artist date, I will be getting out of the house and doing something. I may go to a park. I may go out in the backyard at the picnic table. I may go to Starbucks. I may go to a museum. I may do a lot of different things. I want to do a little bit different than I did last time. Last year when I did the artist way, I did it the same time this year. I did last year. Yeah, I did it in Jan started in January last year. So I'm really excited about that. I'm loving the new room. It's much more calm. The color is more calm and soothing and the red gives you enough pop and vibrancy and passion to be creative. And this is a bigger room, so I have more space. Not that I have a whole lot of space left after the bookcases. Mr. Rockstar was like, you need another bookcase. I was like, yes, I do. Yes, I do. But my goal is for this birthday to build bookshelves. I want to replace two of the bookshelves that I have that aren't real wood with real wood bookcases. And I will be moving that white bookcase probably into the purple room once I do that. The other bookcase, this red one that you see, I'm not so sure we're even keeping that. There's not going to be a whole lot of changes to the channel, except on Sundays, I will be doing an Artist Wave video. Monday is still Coffee Chat. Wednesday is every other Wednesday, um, a Writer Wednesday, and then the other two, the other Wednesdays will be viewer request videos. So if you have something you would like for me to do a video about, whether it's about journaling or writing, I can hopefully get a video to you about whatever it is you like to see a video about. I don't do a whole lot of day in the life videos because my day in the life is pretty much what you see. Um, I cook, I clean, I write, I art, I read. So <laughs> um, it's, it's, yeah, that's pretty much my day. So I start my morning with morning pages and coffee and stretches. I do 15 to 20 minutes worth of stretches because of tendonitis and arthritis, the physical therapist said I had to do that in order to keep full mobility. I practice different things with art. I am doing some different projects. I'm doing Patreon now and that's going really well and I love it. I love inspiring people to be creative. It's one of my passions. I am following my goals and my dreams and 2017, my word for the year is thrive. And that is about doing more than surviving. It's about creating a life that is your dream and going after your dream with passion and zest. There's a quote by Maya Angelou. My mission in life is not merely to survive, but to thrive with passion, compassion, humor, and style. The definition of the word thrive is to grow strongly and vigorously, to do well, to prosper. With that word comes a lot of other things, like in order to do well and to prosper, you need to be mindful. You need to have focus. You need to not procrastinate. Um, getting your life in order, being organized, um, being kind to others, paying it forward. A lot of things come under that word. And I could have picked a different word. I thought about picking the word focus. I thought about the word balance. There are a lot of different words. 2016, my word was positivity. And because of that, I worked on a lot of things. I worked on my attitude about being positive, not looking at the glass half empty, but looking at the glass half full or refillable. And towards the end of the year, I realized, and a lot of other people had pointed out, I had become much more confident. My videos, you can tell, I'm much more confident. I have really bad anxiety, y'all. Really bad anxiety. I also have depression and ADHD. So on the really bad days, getting a video done, was rough, rough y'all, rough. But I did it anyway. The only time I didn't really do videos was when I was sick or if I was really busy, like if I ended up having to watch Mr. Victor or there was something else going on, but I made myself accountable. Even though the anxiety was made it really rough sometimes. You could see me fidgeting and shaking. That was the anxiety. I have gotten a lot better with that and uh, my self-confidence has grown. I'm less fearful of being in public like this <laughs> or in general. I have a, a bit of social anxiety too. I don't really like big crowds. I'm an introverted extrovert. Um, I do like to socialize, and I, but I like small groups and I have to be really comfortable with the people to be social. Once I am comfortable with you, I'm a motor mouth, as my family likes to say. I'm really excited though, because to me, thrive means to really grow and to blossom. And it's not 
necessarily prosper as in money, but to my own personal goals of being successful have more to do with personal goals than they do with money, but money's a part of it. I want to, by the end of 2017, to be earning an actual real income to support my life and my my lifestyle and my hobbies, which is YouTube and art and writing. So that's been, it's I'm growing and that's good. I reached 1,000 subscribers in 2016. My goal is to reach uh, 2,000 subscribers by the end of this first quarter of the year. So by March, April, I would like to have reached 2,000. I'm right at around 1,500 now. So I'm hoping to do really well with that. So I'm excited. At the 2000 mark, I'm going to have a giveaway. Um, I've talked about that already. The video is going to get too long, though, so I'm going to wrap this up and just say that 2017 is going to be great. It's going to be amazing. I am really excited about it. But a day without art, without art in words, is just, I couldn't imagine having that. Um, it's really rough for me whenever I am not able to journal or to in, in, in any form. So one of the other goals this year is to make sure that I take the time to do things. So this this first quarter, working on mindfulness along, which is part of it, part of be thriving. I hope you'll continue with on the journey with me, and I hope you have a great one. Happy New Year. I will see you again Wednesday. Bye, y'all.